Hey everybody, today we are looking at two verses in James chapter 1 for our time today, and that is verses uh, 19 and 20 of James chapter 1. Let me read it to you, and uh, then I'll sort of launch into a story. It says this, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. All right, so that's simple enough. Now for the story. Uh, since I've moved here, I realized uh, one of the great Aussie stories, one of the one of the best hero stories and legends Australia has, is of a man named Stephen Bradbury, who in the uh, 2002 Winter Olympics uh, somehow made it into the finals, um, but he was not doing very well at all. I'm sure you know the story. I don't need to retell it, but I will because it's fun. Uh, anyway, as they were going around the speed skating rink, um, Stephen Bradbury found himself at the uh, at the end of the pack. He wasn't doing too well, but then there was sort of this collision where all the people in the front pack collided with each other and slid out of control, and the only person left standing was Stephen Bradbury. And uh, he went around and he won the gold medal for Australia in Olympic speed skating. And uh, it, it's quite a story, right? So what does this have to do with what we just read from James 1, 19 and 20? A lot, actually. So uh, James is just giving some sort of quick fire advice, and he says this, that um, we should be, as followers of Jesus, we should be quick to listen, but slow to speak and slow to become angry. Now, this has a lot to do with Stephen Bradbury, in fact, uh, for several reasons. The main one is that the word slow, where it says be slow to speak and slow to become angry, in Greek is the word bradis, um, bradis, like Bradbury. Um, in fact, Bradbury means uh, a place of slowness. That's what that, that's what that name means, because it comes from this Greek word bradis, meaning slow. So James is saying that we should all be Bradbury's, slow to speak and slow to become angry. But the thing is that this word Bradis, uh, slow, does, does not mean just simply slow, like you're lazy or you're lagging behind everybody else. But it's this sort of intentional, you, you, you're intentionally going at your own pace uh, so that when the time is right, you may dart ahead. Um, and so, James applies this idea of being a Bradbury to be slow to speak and slow to become angry. So instead of jumping out to the lead and being the first person that talks and set, has something to say, shares something on your mind, or the first person that gets, you, you become angry at a situation just instantly, it, it drives you insane, that instead you should simmer down. You should let it you should pace yourself. You should watch what's happening in front of you and let the other people sort of collide into each other so that when the time is right, that you may glide into the right destination with the right attitude at the right time. Um, James is not saying we should never speak or we should never be angry. There are certainly situations where we should speak and we, we should have, feel righteous anger about things. But James wants us to know that as followers of Jesus, that those two things uh, should be measured and in control. That we're watching everybody else bang into each other in front of us while we just pace ourselves and wait for the right time. And instead, he says, the one thing you should be quick about is quick to listen. That as followers of Jesus, the first thing that we should do is open our ears rather than open our mouths or open uh, the, the lid to our temper going off. Um, you see this uh, advice sort of work out negatively in the story of Job. Uh, Job, as you know, um, Satan takes everything away from Job, his, his children, his wealth, um, his, his health even, and Job has nothing left. He's sitting in the dirt and the ashes. And Three of Job's friends come over, 
And at first, they have the right reaction. They see Job's pain and misery, and they sit in the, in the dirt with him, and, uh, and they say nothing. They are quick to listen. However, um, things quickly change, because as soon as Job opens his mouth and he's calling out God for wondering where God is and why God is allowing these things to happen, it, well, his friends then, well, they're quick to speak and quick to become angry, and they rebuke Job. And they say, you're not doing the right thing. What are you talking about? Shut your mouth, Job. But in the end, God shows up. And God ends up rebuking those three friends, specifically with the things that James here is recommending that we do as, as brothers and sisters in Christ. He's tell, God tells them that, man, you were too quick to speak. And too quick to become angry. You talked about a situation. You had no idea. You had no understanding what what this is really about. And so God rebukes them. So in the same way, um, whatever situation you find yourself in, um, whether it's a meeting at work, whether someone is sharing uh, a struggle or something with you, James wants us to pull a Bradbury uh, that we should be quick to listen And be ready at the right time to offer sound advice and wisdom. But instead of letting our emotions or whatever pops up uh, to the surface of our minds to be able to just blab about that, he says, just pause those thoughts. Um, Push them down to the surface so that when the time is right, you can speak uh, and extend wisdom and grace rather than anger and bad advice. So, church, let's all pull a Bradbury. See you later.